Hey everybody, this is James the Outlaw Frags. I am so glad to see you back with me for another review. Tonight, this evening, I'm going to do my top 10 spring. So do me a favor, stay right there. I'm going to run the intro and we'll be right So what I've done is I've picked... 10 fragrances for my collection that I'm really, really looking forward to wearing this spring. And today is the first day that it was absolutely beautiful outside, so I figured I would come out here and do a little bit of setup and record from out here. So with all that being said, let's get right into this. These are 10 that are not in any particular order. These are just 10 that I'm really looking forward to wearing this spring. So with all further ado, let's grab Jean-Paul Gaultier, and this is Ultramol, and I think this is a wonderful fragrance that you can use on a cooler spring night like tonight. You know, because of the, the sweetness of this really, really goes a long way. I think it's something you could use on a spring date if you're careful and triggered, because this is loud and it smells amazing. It's sweet and fruity and refreshing and just I really really like this a lot of people consider this a winter fragrance to me this is a can work on a cooler spring night so this is my first one and that is Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramol my second spring fragrance that I'm really looking forward to wearing is this guy right here and this is Dior Om Sport so this one is the one that has still has the note of iris in it now, if you've watched this channel for very long, you know that the note of iris in the DR Ohm line is my absolute favorite. I love the way it's buttery smooth, it's rich, it's wonderful. And DR Ohm Sport, I think, will work absolutely outstanding this spring. So if you have those in your collection, I'd say take a minute and bring it out for spring. So those are my first two. And then my next one is I'm just grabbing in the boxes. I've just grabbed 10 of them. And that is Invictus. And this is the original. This is my second bottle that I went through. I wear this quite a bit in the spring. This is fun and this is just uplifting. This is just, man, this is smiles in a bottle, man. Every time I have a lady smell this, they've always really enjoyed it. So have I. So this is my number three. Four is going to be this wonderful Middle Eastern gem right here. And this is Dirage, and this, people say, smells like Valentino V. This is warm and spicy, very sweet. It's really, really sensual. But this is what I would wear on a date in the spring. Or if I just want to feel super kind of sexy on a cool or maybe rainy spring day, this stuff right here knocks it out of the park and this is the reg my number five is going to be versace dylan blue this is an all-around wonderful fragrance this pulls double duty no matter what you're doing you can wear this it is super unoffensive ladies really enjoy it everybody enjoys it projection is decent it gives you just an incredible scent bubble the incense in the beginning of this i absolutely love the embroxin in this is really really pleasant to my palate i mean then this is super versatile you can wear this dressed up dressed down hanging out with your buddies or going to church or whatever this works that is my number five my number six is another dior and this is dior om cologne now, on a super hot spring day this stuff is going to work wonderful and this is going to travel right over into my summer list this is just a absolutely no-brainer when it's really, really warm outside. And if it's humid, this stuff works phenomenally. So this is my number six, and this is Dior Homme Cologne. So if you're watching this, this is the first time I've done anything like this out in the back. If this is kind of cool, let me know. Let me know if this is something you enjoy watching. My number seven is going to be this sweet little fella right here and you know i've stated already i really enjoy the note of iris this has the same kind of iris note and it's a little bit sweeter than the online but i really really enjoy it it is fresh clean elegant yeah this will work for you from anything from hanging out on a 
semi-casual day all the way to if you were in a suit in the middle of the office. This one works. This is Prada Loam Low. And this is my number seven. My number eight is another Versace. And this is Versace Port Loam. This is the original. This stuff projects like a beast for like an hour and then really comes closer to the skin. But it's so fresh and clean and inviting. This is straight out of getting out of the shower clean. I mean, this isn't super sexy. It is just, it's spring in a bottle. It's everything I think about spring. It's clean, it's fresh. You know, it's a little bit aquatic. That color of the juice kind of gives that away. It's just outstanding. You know, I will say Versace has a lot of really good fragrances in their line. You're gonna see a couple more, I believe. So that's Versace Pour Homme. Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Now, I picked this one up last year, and I will say it is absolutely outstanding. It really reminds me of Dior Homme Cologne, but this has quite a bit more musk in the end of it, so it's a, in the same vein, but it's different enough to where it's not a redundant buy. I will say it is super inexpensive, but it is definitely a great bang for the buck. So this one here is Jimmy Choo Man Ice. And speaking of Versace again, we have Versace Mano Fresh. Now this has been around a mainstay for tons of guys spring arsenal. And it is mine too. I burned through a ton of decants until I picked up this partial and then I bought a, a full one because I wear this one that much. I start out wearing it in spring, it runs through summer, it works wonderful in the heat, and it smells absolutely wonderful. And the last one is this one right here. The last one in this list is Christian Dior, and this is Sauvage. This is the EDP, the original, the one that started the whole phenomenon of a couple of crap even flankers, but this one is just a bottle of gold to me. It is just absolutely simple and just perfectly simple. I mean, this is not a really complicated scent, but what it tries to relay, it does perfectly. It's loud, it's boisterous, it is the center of attention. It's longevity and projection are outstanding. If you haven't ever, I mean, that's kind of a silly thing. Maybe not, you might be new to this whole game, so you might not have smelled this before. If you haven't, do yourself a favor. Walk by the Profond, the Ed up off on my go straight to this smell this first and then if this is too much for you work your way down the line but to me this is outstanding i wouldn't want to go through a spring or a summer or winter or fall this works all of the time without this in my fragrance wardrobe so with that all being said discussing these few wonderful fragrances in front of me i hope you enjoyed it if you did do me a favor tell me what your scent of the day is down below like comment and subscribe are any of these on your spring list or am i just a little daffy so with all that being said there's no bad time to smell good all of these smell good and i will see you on the next video